Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel, Expose and Educate. Just taking a few moments to look at this old uh, railway carriage. It's always good to see some unusual things when you travel around. So anyway today a newly discovered place of interest I'm searching through the internet for Gloucester Constabulary and things to do with those and Avon and Somerset and we discovered a place called the Sabrina Centre in Barclay Now this was handed over to the OPCC, so the Office of the Police and Crime Commissioner, May 15th, 2020. It's a state-of-the-art police training centre for Gloucester Constabulary. The strange thing about it is it's actually built from a renovated nuclear power station. Work started on it in September 2019. So this uh, daring renovation was the brainchild of Martin Searle, who was the Police and Crime Commissioner. He's managed to secure a 150 year lease rent free and it cost 600,000 pounds now the Sabrina Centre is named after the goddess of the River Severn and apparently the place is very very eco-friendly so we're here today then guys just to have a little look we need to be a little bit careful because we've got to pass by a school to get where we're going um, it's not very very clearly signposted so we just need to be a little bit aware of where we're going what we're seeing certainly cram some buildings in here that's for sure so we'll have a little walk down this way first see what we can see there's a Cotswold community men's shed always good to see aha So this old building here is to let. Well I've got to say guys it's a pretty impressive little area. Although I would have to say as a fella up on the roof look. Of course the worrying thing about it is, is if they've just built this to be having work done already So, that's because I couldn't read the sign in the doorway. So, we'll have a look down this way. So, here we 
up one of the uh, one of the vans, guys. Just gonna have a little look through this way. Can't see any signs anywhere. So we're just gonna see what we can see from here. So that, guys, if you can see it, is the River Seven. As I say, this place is built right by the side of it. So we'll have another little wonder. See what we can discover. So we've got a Cotswold trailer for the use of the police. So I can't see any signs anywhere. So this is cyber security and digital innovation. I'm just gonna head down this way. Let's just have a little look at what the sign says. So police security system in place, a little map there. Can't really read it very well. Let's have a look. See the seven guys. Virel River. So this is obviously just a little bit of a canteen come leisure problem. Very quiet. Very dead. I'll have a little wander back around this way. Riverview restaurant. Sorry to interrupt your lunch, buddy. Is it alright just to have a look through there? No, I just didn't want to go anywhere where I wasn't there, where I wasn't allowed to. No worries. All right, mate. Well, if somebody knows, they'll shout, won't they? <laughs> Cheers. So it doesn't say that we can't come in here guys, but we'll have a little look so I can show you where the river is. That's quite a big old building coming on there, look. Try and find out what that is for you shortly. Great River Seven, massive river, guys. Massive. No signage anywhere, so it doesn't tell you what it is. Let's 
So a little bit of a strange one guys because we seem to have come across the barriered gate entrance from inside the site. So we'll just go a little bit closer. See if anybody's on duty. Not sure if the gatehouse is still in use or not. Just change the exposure there. Some old boxes and things. See something that will go down in history as would have been used. Some sort of old graft. Interesting. I'm just going to walk down this way a bit, see if this fella can see us because I've come from behind, obviously. Okay, so we've got to go back, back this way. Guy in there doesn't seem too bothered, although he was on the telephone. So we'll see when he hangs up if he's going to follow us down. So right, we're going to head back towards the Sabrina Centre. And we'll see if we can get hold of somebody that can tell us something about it. Maybe answer a few questions. See if there's any recruits around. Ah, right. So that's the university by the look of it. So not interested in the university. No worries, buddy. I'm going left. No worries. <laughs> Cheers, mate. So, we're going to head on back down this way. Lots of cameras around, guys. Not sure exactly what's what. All right, chaps. How's it going? Weather's all right for you. <laughs> so while we're here, guys, this place is called an active building centre. Test buildings. So obviously they build properties. Oh. <laughs> You're, you're getting me at it now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so I don't know if people train on building jobs and that sort of stuff. That's just a store place. So yeah, not much to see there guys. Not much at all. I know you might not know this guys, is this like um, a training place on building? Is it like a training place for building? Uh, it's like um, experimental te test sites. Okay. Um, so the houses have got multiple points of technology built within them. Gotcha. This one's an Eco Plus house, so this will have a, a, an intended off-grid facility. So it's quite connected to... Excellent. The, you know, the main so it's all so basically it's going towards the green energy sort of thing. That's, yeah. That's Brilliant. And then these two big factory units here, so it's 
3,000 pound a pop. Am I all right just having a quick scan of that? Yeah, yeah. Sure. Don't want to give any top secrets away, obviously. No, no. <laughs> Don't want to stop anybody working. That's brilliant. So when, once they're built then, do people come and learn about them? So or are you just monitoring? Build, in the college, they do tests. They've got climate control units okay. inside here. Yeah. Um, and that enables them to uh, test equipment. So where, say, Mitsubishi might have um, uh, an air source heat pump, they test it themselves, right. and they know what it's capable of doing. But that information is not free to the public. So what this place will do is they'll do their own tests, and they'll work out the efficiency ratios and stuff gotcha. like that, and then that information becomes available free to the public. Brilliant. Thanks for taking the time to explain. Cheers. Appreciate it. So there we are guys, all very high tech stuff, um, all going green. That could be worth a revisit in the future I think, because they're still obviously doing stuff to it as we speak. But anyway, this isn't getting us to the Sabrina Centre. So we'll go back to there now. We'll see if anybody's happy to come out and have a, a little chat. Part of the reason, obviously, I went there first and then had a wander around and came back is because they'll be aware of me, hopefully. So what I'll do, guys, I'll just drop it there and pick it up in a minute. We're just a little bit closer to the centre guys, so we'll have a little wander around here. Try not to hinder anybody. So we'll just have a, a little look. Don't look as there's anything down here to see. Nice little garden for to sit in and have cups of tea. So yeah, nothing doing down there. Berkeley Pippin. Ah, so they seem to be trying to keep some Berkeley Pippins alive, some apple trees. We'll head up this way. So not a lot of people, probably training staff to be fair. Um, so that's a receptionist desk, we'll have a wander over this way, part of this building looks as though it's to let, Bloodhound Education, so it all seems very 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 quiet so this may be one of those that we have to come back to. Let's just have a little look what we can see here. So nothing there, nothing there. So everybody seems exceptionally friendly. So what we will do is I wonder if we could ring the button. Let's try it, shall we? Who's up for me ringing the button? So, a few more people interested in us. We'll just have a little ring at a bell. So, I don't know how we do it. Sorry, any chance of me and you having a chat? Any chance of having a quick chat? Do you want to come to the door because I can't come in? <laughs> Is that all right? Yeah, no problem. Thank you. So, place of work, guys. So, obviously. Hello. Hello. How are We're you? All curious. I wonder what you're doing. <laughs> Do you know? I've just got. 
<coughs> excuse me i've just got the attention of one of your colleagues i've just said to him through the window could i possibly have a chat he's going to come out in a minute um all it is is i do a lot of filming around the whole of gloucestershire yeah. oxfordshire berkshire yeah, yeah. wiltshire and i like to do my research yeah and i discovered that this wonderful place had been built on a yeah. nuclear site yeah and i thought well my viewers would like to know a bit more about it. you can come and join us don't be shy put the hat on. <laughs> oh thank you that make well, a good no, thumbnail <laughs> yeah so really i just wanted to talk to some people and see what it's like working here because the view with oh, the river beautiful. seven i mean yeah, lunchtimes really must be oh absolutely in the yeah. summer it's lovely we've got the little restaurant and there's the yes i've spotted tables. that yeah, yeah. Oh, it's I, lovely. Yes. I didn't realise there was a university bit yes. as well. And, yeah, just uh, over there, the university. Some eco homes just up yeah, there being yeah. built. So yeah. um, oh, I'm yeah. sorry to trouble you, sir. It's That's just right. that you, you seem to be the most friendly. <laughs> he doesn't know me at all, does he? <laughs> wow. Uh, are you in a good mood? Go on. That's all right. I feel safe then if you're in a good mood. Um, I was just saying to these ladies, I'm, I'm just discovered this on the website okay. of the O. Get it right, OPCC. That's yeah, right, yeah. Um, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, I filmed up at Quedgley and oh, I've done lovely. I've done everywhere. I don't just do police buildings, oh. but I was fascinated for several reasons. Mm. A because it's named after Sabrina, the goddess of the seven. It yeah. is, absolutely. B where it is, because some of the pictures online look absolutely fantastic. Mm. I was just saying lunchtime must be brilliant. Uh, and just to get a, an inside view, if you like, of what it's like, how many people you have through the doors, because I've got to say Gloucester Constabulary, from my point of view, have got to be one of the most professional police constabularies in the country. Very and that's not say. blowing yeah. smoke, that's just my interactions. Well, this, is, this is our training facility. Yes. And I, I know that we, um, we do, uh, it is also available for non constabulary I did notice um, that, yeah. And I know that people that come through that are non constabulary have all said what a, a wonderful facility it is. In fact, we had yeah. some people last week who said, They've been all around the country, and they think the facility here is... I think this is second to none. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. I really do. It's a um, beautiful building. I noticed that Martin Searle, and I don't even know if he's still in office, because I forgot to check anymore. that. You sacked him, have they? Well, he, um, there, was, <laughs> there was another election. There was another election, and uh, yeah. I mean, it was his younger. brainchild, wasn't it? It was yeah. his um, brainchild, yes. And I don't know if you'll be able to comment on this, because obviously this is financial, but a 150-year lease, which is brilliant oh, yeah. for you guys. Well, I don't Although, know it's a long term lease, I couldn't tell how long. Yeah, 150 been, yeah. years apparently. Mm. Um, it's rent free. Really? I didn't know. And all he paid was 600,000 for the my lease. <laughs> yeah, they don't tell us any costs. Well, I, I just anyway. think, you know, the way policing's going and, and the need to maybe get a few more bobbies on the beat. Although, oh, yeah, that, and that's what the uh, new PCC um, is all about that. And yeah. we certainly are going to be very busy this year yeah very busy. Yeah. recruitment's massive at the moment yeah so do yeah. you have any open days down here no we haven't yet ah no. right no they do the open day at headquarters yeah. don't they yes once a year and we get involved yeah. in elements of that mm. yeah so they're not sure if it's going to go ahead this year because of covid no, obviously yeah. Yeah. um yeah. i mean is it something i don't know if you've got the powers to make decisions is no, it something no. you consider here as an I'm open day the trainers but hey, don't put yourself it, down yeah. because <laughs> if the bobbies i've come across and i, I met one just before Christmas, seven months in the job. I'm assuming mm. he came through here. He would, yeah, they would have. He's a credit to you. Oh, I've got to really say. To hear. Um, We're so, working hard at it because there's been a lot of changes. Yeah. Um, and it has become, you know, we've working um, conjunction with the University of South Wales. Sure. Um, so yeah. Brilliant. We're, we're building the. Uh, the force of the future. We're future proofing. Well, that's that's a good thing to hear. You know, from, from a public point of view, because I don't know if you're aware, but there's a bit of a divide at the moment between the public and the police. Mm -hmm. And one of the things I'm trying to do is trying to bridge that gap a little bit. Because yeah, absolutely. I, you we know, I watch the news and I've seen yeah. some pretty horrific, I mean, that guy in the police van down at um, the main one in Bristol, Bristol. Town Centre. Um, can't remember what it's called. Yeah. <laughs> Old age. Um, that was just frightening to watch it on the TV. I was watching it live and I just thought, my God. You well, know, we do, we, as uh, part of the curriculum, we do, our students do go out and uh, to the hard to reach communities. Okay. And they have days uh, where they, they go out and find out about different communities. So, sure. you know, that we're, we're working forward. Uh, we do put a lot of effort and a lot of emphasis on uh, community policing. Yes. In, in the Gloucester. So, again, I don't know I if you can answer this, but I'm going to ask anyway. Do you do any sort of riot training or. That um, sort of actually, stuff here? Um, we have a little bit uh, 
stayed full yesterday, wasn't it? We had the yeah. horses here. Do you know what? And I was going to come down on Monday oh, as well. Yeah, it was Monday, wasn't it? You missed it. It was, you all, out, it. It was all out the road. We just oh. out on the road here. Uh, we Got have the horses down planned? here because no, the horses yeah. are <laughs> also in training uh, for yeah. public order. So we had a little bit of public order yeah. just down here. Yeah, just outside. Yeah. And, and you know, that was good to see that they're keeping the policing unit. I was very pleased with yeah, that because they're mountain, based in yeah. Avonmouth somewhere. No, ours are not actually. Um, they're Oh, more local. We've got, yeah. some, we've got local in Gloucestershire. Yeah. Of course, because that will actually be Avon and Avon Somerset. Somerset yeah. Of course it will. So where, where would your stables be, if you're allowed to tell me? They're going to be at our new yes, operation yeah. centre at Mount Vernon. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, so, they're, they're so that's being built now, is it? Yeah. No point going up there yet, then? Yeah. Small fenced you office. Won't get in. Is it? It's a dusty <laughs> mess. Yeah, I is. don't think I'm even allowed in. Because <laughs> <laughs> so it's in, in being built at the moment. Sure. Well, is there an expected be. date of finish, completion? Um... I believe the portfolio says it's mid this year, so they are right, okay. pushing it through quickly. So maybe I can get up there in the summer then and yeah, do a little bit on yeah. that as well. Because this, this ran over slightly, didn't it, because of COVID? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah, but not, I believe it wasn't too much. It no, was only a, a few of months, months, wasn't it? Yeah. So you're just police staff, young lady? Yeah. And you love working there, I can yeah. tell, because you haven't stopped smiling. <laughs> yeah. Even though you've got your mask on, you can't tell. Yeah. Uh, the eyes. eyes. <laughs> do you know, yeah. they say yeah. the eyes are the windows to the soul, don't they? So, um, I don't want to ask you too much more then, really. I, I'm going to try and keep on a lookout for when you're going to have a training down, maybe yeah, come sure. down. I'll keep out of the way, obviously, but my viewers would love to see, I mean, they'd love to have seen the horses. They always get a yeah. good reception, don't they? Do you get yeah. dogs down here very often? Yeah, we yeah. have. They've come down and do a, an afternoon out on the grass again. Brilliant. So, it's all, yeah. obviously, this whole site is accessible to Because I have public. filmed a little dog That's place. a vaccination centre opposite. Yeah. So, we've got lots of members of the public. We do marching. Um, we do training. Do police still march? Yeah, for Seriously? Their pass out parade. Oh right, okay. I think it's nice and to that's in the open, is it? Yeah. Part of discipline, yeah. isn't it? It's yeah. um, it's really, really good. To, it's great for the family. To see do you know what? It's funny you say that because a lot of my viewers, when they comment on some of the videos, and I get good and I get bad. I get police haters yeah. and police lovers, and then lots of people in between. The uniform isn't flattering to smartness. No, Although no. You're, you're both wearing it reasonably well, I've got to say. Black but slimming, that's the, be the best part. Like but you know, you know, when we get a little bit older, we put a little bit yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The uniform it. isn't favourable, is it? And, no. and I've got to be honest, I'm not a great lover of these caps. It, it's all about yeah. practical, uh, of course. becoming more practical yeah. with the way policing it, it yeah. has become. Yeah. When we wore, you know, tunics and that, it's just not practical anymore. No. You, you've got to have all your. That's all right uh, if you're up the town, isn't it? Just for trouble. You know, you're rolling around. We still on the wear the traditional and, custodians yeah. when we do yeah. parades and ceremonial yeah. things. Yeah. Yeah. I okay. think that's vital. Mm. But, yeah, practical policing. I Brilliant. Think so, have you got any good dates coming up that I could sort of tell I, people about? There's so many. Oh, is there? Well, we, is it that busy? Say, well, it is. We've got a lot. We've got uh, courses coming in every 11 weeks at the moment. Right, so okay. We, Openly use that area out the front yep. for training. Like I said, we did the um, the public order training with the horses on Monday. Sure. We, the dogs come in regularly and, and they train on the front there as well. Yeah. We do, when, when the students first arrive, we do um, sort of some team building exercises. Right, okay. We do our march, that's our parade square over there. We do the march. I figured it was because I noticed the flagpole. Yeah, so yeah. I thought, you know. <laughs> Yeah, the oh, floodlights as well. well. Yeah, because I didn't even notice that. Yeah, the parades will be in the evenings yeah. from now on. So um, do do the recruits stay here or do they get? Yeah. They do. They're here for oh, twenty six right. weeks. So what in this building? Well, they don't live here. No, it's, no, not, it's not residential. Oh, oh, no, it's not no residential. right. So so they just they come and go. Yeah. Right. Back, okay. Back so forwards. is there any accommodation through HQ for them? No, not at the moment. Okay, so they could be travelling quite a bit then, really. Yeah, depending. Yeah. And, and if it's every day for eleven weeks, that's. Uh, yeah. So they get help with fuel. Uh, no. 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 This is just where the training centre yeah. is, and right. they're expected to. Yeah. A lot of people will tend to move into the area. Mm. To of course, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. of, yeah. of course, the downside mm. was when they started selling off police houses. Yeah. Um, yeah. I used to live in an old RAF house. Oh, did you? Oh, yeah, yeah, which was great. It was warrant officers' accommodation mm. previously. Mm. Yeah. Lovely house, but it's a shame, isn't it, when stuff. Yeah. Well, I say that. I mean, we have to move on. I would know. say never say never on that. That sounds like a film. <laughs> Especially if your dad added a game. Because it is something that we've we've brought up about accommodation. So it it just makes sense because you've got. And this is I've lost my bearings now. You've got yeah. that building down there that yeah. could be turned into like yeah. little. Yeah. 
rooms and stuff, couldn't it? I have Quite noticed easily. since we've been here, though, on the site, a lot of the buildings are starting to people are moving into them. Well, There's a lot you, of work going on. The site yeah. planner, he's yeah. really, they're really looking to develop this site. Right. They, they think within that. 10 years it will be a real thriving, yeah. vibrant sort of place. It to certainly work. looks as though it's got that potential. So it's great that we're here because it's, yeah. you know, we'll yeah. get involved in all Did, of it. did they do any soil tests? Loads, I believe, yeah. All the because when you know it's a nuclear site, you think. Good job oh. I don't want to have any more kids. I know, yeah. There <laughs> no, was no, no. You're, you're safer here than anywhere else, aren't you? Because they're Probably. doing, they're testing it all the time. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So exactly. <laughs> That's yeah. how I, I see it. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I just think it's and great. And it's a state of the art building. And yeah. so I don't suppose there's any chance for a little tour inside. We've got so many classes. Yeah. No, no problem. Building. If I if don't we were, ask, if there was, well, no, if there was I'd no get one sick. You'd be more than welcome. Okay, lovely. If you contact Ruth Frett, she is Could you just say that again? Ruth Frett. Ruth Fred, she is thank the manager, you. so if you contact okay. her, I can pick it might up. be something she Yeah, because hopefully when you. COVID disappears, I'm going to get a ride out from the guys up at yeah. HQ. Uh, we've still got to work out if I can take a camera, because obviously radio yeah. communication, yeah. and so there might be a few boxes to tick that I yeah. can't do. Um, yeah. But anyway, can I just take your names for the record? Yeah, I'm PC. Claire you did tell me, didn't you? No, PC, you didn't. PC Claire Pottle. Claire Pottle, mm -hmm. that's an unusual surname. Just don't Google it. <laughs> Oh, I will, because I, I love surnames. Uh, Sergeant J. Slocum. I love the way that you put your rank in. Love you that. asked us to. <laughs> yeah, I said PC. Yeah. yeah, I just, you know. it's. Uh, and would you like to identify yeah, your name? Yeah, Georgie Webb. Georgie Webb. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's a nice modern name, isn't it, Georgie? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no relation to Cliff Richards? No. You don't know why I'm asking no. that, I can tell you know, don't you? I don't. You don't? No. You must know. No. Webb was his real original ah, surname. There you go. <laughs> yeah. I saw him live. Anyway, um, I saw him live when I was very final young. question. I'll leave mm. you in peace, guys. I really appreciate you coming lessons. out. Do you want to swap hats? No. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, because I get in trouble if I don't wear it when I'm outside. <laughs> Do you? Yes. Yeah. Oh, right. Okay. I've got one foot in the door. Yeah, Lovely. Listen, guys, guys I really right appreciate here. it. No I know my viewers will love it. So no, okay. keep, okay, keep the training to the level it is at because, honestly, my... My interactions have been nothing but oh, fantastic. So, always trying to make it better. So you have the respect of a lot of the public. Thank so you very much. Thank you. Don't, don't mess it up. Okay. <laughs> Take care. Cheers, guys. There we are, guys. Sometimes it's worth just trying to communicate. Um, I was very nearly tempted to, to walk away because I just thought they're not they're not going to interact with me. But I thought, I can't walk anywhere else that would have got them to come out. So, has to speak to them. Um, and I'm pleased to say, I hope that you enjoyed what they had to say. Um, I know there's probably questions I should have asked that I didn't. I will be coming back though when they have some of their open days and parades and everything. This is going to be one of my regular spots. And um, so, yeah, so guys, the normal bit of spill. If you like what we're trying to do, please click like and click share. If you want to see more of what we do, please click the subscribe button. Don't forget, it costs you nothing to subscribe. And of course, if you hit the little bell icon, you'll get notified whenever we upload new footage. So I'm going to find my way back out from the Brendan Loop and head on back. And from Exposed and Educate, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please tell your friends to come across and have a look. And we will catch you on the next one. Take care, guys. Just a quick one, guys. So, leftovers from when it was a nuclear site. You've got all sorts of bits and bobs around. Cameras that are no longer in use. Obviously, areas for sensors. So yeah, a little sensors that would have told you if people were coming or going. Just wanted to add that on the end, guys. So uh, catch you on the next one.